Welcome back. And for this video, we're going to go ahead and dive into the layering system within Mari 2.0. Now, since the release of the 2.0 version of Mari, they're kind of leaning more towards a non-destructive, kind of like a Photoshop style workflow. So let's go ahead and dive in. Um, now, I do not have my layers palette open, and I kind of wanted to show you there's one or two ways that you can access this. Now, the first one would be just as long as you have your channel highlighted, all you have to do is left click, and as you see, you have a floating uh, palette come up. Now, you can um, dock this palette either direction, or if you just want it kind of just uh, floating, all you have to do is hit this left icon. So we're going to go ahead and dock that there. Okay, and that's one way. Now, the other way, obviously, would be view, palettes, and then just go up and hit layers. Now, I do not want it there. I'm just going to go ahead and put it right there. And move my channels over here. Okay, as you see, this is a base texture. And for this video, I'm just going to go ahead and just create a new channel. And demo. And generally, it just takes a second. Okay, so when you first create a channel, basically all you're going to get is one layer. Now, before we really dive into it, I kind of wanted to go some, over some of the menus. Now, first off, we're going to go over this bottom menu, and then we'll uh, continue from there. Now, this first icon here, you can create a basic paint layer. As you see, the icon comes up with a little uh, paint icon. The second icon here is a basic mask that you can apply to a layer, to an adjustment, to a procedural, but it is basically set up as a reveal all. Now we'll show you a little bit further um, about the masking abilities of it a little bit later. Um, this fourth icon would be where all your procedurals are. Now you have basic environment, geometry, and procedural. Now some of the uh, shader modules are holdovers from the previous versions, so if you're looking for one particular one, like, you know, let's say a tiled uh, shader module, it's in pattern and just go to tiled. Now, um, there are some holdovers and there are some new ones. So just dive in there and take a look. Um, this next icon would be to create a empty folder. Now, layers can reside in groups, i.e. folders. Okay, and the next one would be duplicate layers. And then the one with the little minus sign here would be just to, if you wanted to remove a layer or a group, what you have to do is make sure you highlight it by left clicking and hit the minus sign. Now this very last one, it looks like a Rubik's Cube. Um, all you have to do is hit this and it enables you to kind of uh, set your layers or your groups up kind of like you would in Photoshop. You have your colors there. Okay, and since I showed you the color option, I'm going to go ahead and add just another layer with a different color. And as you see, um, you have name, type, attribute, and color tag. Also, you can type in um, a name, attribute, color tag. Um, and basically what this enable you, enables you to do is you can hide and show particular layers based on the name, type, attribute, or color tag if you uh, choose to do so. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and move on, and I will just basically make those no color. Okay, now the next what next menu I kind of wanted to go through would be the right-click menu. <clears throat> now, if you have a uh, layer or a group selected, what you have to do is right-click, and as you see, you have a lot of options similar to the bottom quick menu, but a lot of them are different. So, first one here is going to be add new layer. Then you have all your adjustments, you have all your procedurals, you have cut, copy, and paste, and then you can remove and merge layers. You can add an empty layer group. You can group layers. Now, let's say you wanted to group these layers. I kind of want to show you this. What you have to do is click, hold your shift down, left click again, and then right click and just group layers. And as you see, it actually groups them into a uh, folder, i.e. group. Um, let's see, you can flatten layer group, and this is the other options of the layer masking um, that I wanted to talk about. Now, in this mask here, it's more of just a reveal all, as I said before, 
Now this one here, you can do a reveal, hide, or from alpha. And then you can also bake your mask, remove mask, copy and paste. And then you can make a mask group. You can flatten your mask, enable and disable. Now this secondary adjustment here really only comes into play when you add, you know, whatever adjustment from this list, you have an option to do a secondary adjustment. Now this adjustment stack is a little bit different. You can add it to a group or a layer, and it's very similar to the secondary adjustment, but it's a lot more flexible. So, you know, if I wanted to add an adjustment stack, I can hit that, and then it enables you to add a paint layer, mask, other adjustments, procedurals, all within that adjustment stack. So it's very flexible. Now, let me back up a second with a, let's see, we'll just go ahead and do a reveal all mask. And as you see, your mask, as soon as you put just a basic mask up there, whether it's reveal, hide, or from alpha, this is the icon that you'll get. Now you'll have to right click it again and create a mask group. Now this mask group will also enable you to add additional paint layers. Uh, you can put another mask, adjustments, procedurals, groups. I mean, like I said, it's very flexible. So let's go ahead and move on. Um, you can convert to paintable. Now the convert to paintable, um, let me see, I'll just go ahead and get a quick tile texture. Actually, let me back up here. I want just a cloud procedural. Okay, so let's say this is exactly what you want in your procedural. Now, if you choose to use Photoshop with Mari, now some of the things within Mari will not get uh, transferred from Mari to Photoshop, you know, correctly. Now, i.e., one of them would be the um, a lot of your procedurals or your tile textures. So all you would have to do is right click, convert it to paintable, and it really doesn't change anything. It just basically makes it a basic paint layer. So you can edit it, put a mask on it. You know, you can also put a mask on a tile texture if you choose to do so, as I said before. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. Sharing. Now you can share layers, you can share groups, you can share complete, I mean complete groups. Now if you if you've noticed on this set of textures that I've been working on, I have basically one group that has all my base textures. Now, I have some adjustments above that that I did not want to share because whether it's a, a diffuse or a bump or a spec, I wanted to do separate adjustments per channel. I didn't want to share that. So what I did is I just threw everything into one basic group and I shared it. You can, like I said before, you can share it as a layer, unshare layer, and then you can share it layers as a channel. So let's, and I'll just go ahead and show you one way to share it, just share it as a channel. And as you see, it came up with that shared channel. Now, another way, let's say I wanted to share these three textures. All you have to do is uh, control, shift, left button, hold it down, drag it to whatever channel that you need it. And as you see, it comes up and just drag and drop. And as you see, it comes up with that icon of little chain link. And I can, I will get a little bit more in depth in the sharing and, and some other stuff a little bit later. Um, caching. Now you can cache layers, cache up to here, uncache and uncache up to here. Now, as you see these little uh, bar here, you got from green to a different color, green, orange, all the way up to red. Now, as you, progress on your textures, you're going to start taking more resources from your computer. Now, Amari will take more resources from your computer, and it may tend to, to lag or slow down or whatever, and it's inevitable. I mean, you could really get some uber textures here, so you're going to have to sit there and try to offload some of the 
um, information that's being used to kind of let Mara have you know a little bit of, of headroom so it can work. So that's how they came up with the, the uh, caching layers. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, let's say you want, you're done from here up, okay? All you have to do is right click. You can cache up to here. And generally it does not take very long. And as you see, everything turned blue. Now what that's telling me, it's pre-baked from what I understand. It's basically freed up the resources and a lot of times it will be super smooth after that. So keep that in mind if you need to, uh, or if you notice some slowdown. Okay, let's go ahead. We can uh, export selected layers, export all layers, export flattened, export layers flattened or all layers flattened. And you also can import into a single layer or you actually can import a complete layer stack and then obviously you have layer properties which would uh, give you the properties of that layer okay as we move on here i want also wanted to go over um one last menu and now we're going to sit there and, and get into some little bit different things now you have um your blending options for layers and groups right here now as you see depends on what it is whether it's a, a basic paint layer as you see you have a, a bunch of options there then you have on your adjustments it's a little bit less but you also can have your blending options on your groups as well you have your blend modes just like you would Photoshop and then also you have your advanced blending now this can come in handy with certain things like, you know, an, an AO bag that you want some, you know, chipped edges or whatever. Um, so keep that in mind. You know, you have all your blend modes here as well. You have your basic blending or advanced. And then once you do advanced, you can uh, have your separate components and this layer and below layer and the R's to reset. And then you also have your amount. Okay. And the same thing goes for groups as well, layers, adjustments, procedurals, pretty much whatever you want to, um, whatever you're able to use. Okay, before I let you guys go, I wanted to kind of do a little recap here. Um, as you're working on your textures, as you see, you know, you have all your, all your icons here and you can select you know, whether it's a, an adjustment or whatever, just to make sure that you keep an eye on what is highlighted. Because each layer, you can have adjustments and masks and all these other things going on. And you might tend to kind of uh, overlook that, hey, I'm working on a mask, but I'm supposed to be working on the adjustment or whatever. So just as long as you keep an eye on, uh, just make sure that the icon is highlighted. What you're working on, you should be just fine. One last thing before I let you guys go, I kind of came up with a simple schematic, uh, you know, view um, in Photoshop, kind of give you an idea how complex the uh, layering system can be within Mari. So let's go ahead and move over to Photoshop. And as you see here, you have your channel. Now you can have layers and channels, groups, procedurals, and your adjustments. Now, let me zoom in here just a tad. And layers can be within groups. As I said before, groups can be within other groups. So let's go ahead and start with your adjustments. Now adjustments, as I said before, you can have a secondary adjustment. Also, you can have a basic mask. You can make that mask a mask group. And you can have additional uh, adjustments, masks, and procedurals on top of that. Um, in your procedural base layer, you can have your masks and your adjustments, and then you can uh, actually adjustment stack. You, and you, in your adjustment stack, you can have adjustments, other adjustments. You can have masks. You can have uh, procedurals. And the same thing goes for your mask when you turn it into a mask group. So as I said before, it can get very complex. Um, you know, it can be very resource heavy. Heavy. That's where the cash later comes in handy. And uh, I think that about wraps it up. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. See ya.